I'm Janelle, nice to meet you. <laughs> so uh, this is gonna be crossing over to the dark side, um, a React developer's journey into Angular while I get fixed. Um, yeah, um, cool, cool, cool. So um, how many of you all are familiar with Angular? Do you work with it every single day? Sometimes? Cool, 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 cool. Um, how many of you are familiar with React? Like, work with it every day? Kind of sometimes? A little bit? All right, cool. Awesome. And then last but not least, Ionic. Has anyone used Ionic? Awesome. OK, so this talk is not for you two. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, cool, so my name is Janelle. I work at a company called Skill Crush, which is pretty fantastic. It makes my soul smile. It uh, teaches people how to code, so I get to impact people's lives every single day. Um, yeah, uh, hit me up on social media. Would love that. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the light side, where I'm from, React. Um, so what React is, it's a UI library. So that's essentially user interface, all that cool stuff. Um, it's lightweight. It's not as big as most other frameworks, which is really awesome. Um, JSX is in there, which makes my soul smile a whole lot. Um, I love me some HTML inside of my stuff. Um, and it can be paired with other libraries uh, to make a full-on kind of framework so you can get that Redux life in and uh, very, very fun. And then we've got Angular, the dark side. Um, so Angular is going to be a full-fledged MVC framework. Um, it has all the things inside. Um, so HTML and CSS are gonna be completely separate. They're not gonna have that JSX kind of life um, in there. And it can be paired with other libraries like NGRX. Awesome. So this is going to be about my personal journey with Angular. Um, so this might not be your journey. Um, so the way that I got started with Angular was actually with Ionic. Um, so this is a, a story more than anything, right? So Ionic is essentially like a framework that you can build native apps with. Uh, progressive web applications, essentially, is uh, what that's for. So it has Ionic native. Um, it comes with UI components and comes with theming. So I looked at Ionic and I was like, this is going to be the shiz. I'm so excited. Um, that way, I don't have to learn something brand new. I can just kind of finagle it and it's going to work out for me, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, I didn't want to learn something brand new. I didn't want to, you know, become a mobile developer just to create one app for rich weirdos, which, by the way, that was the whole goal, is to make it for uh, rich weirdos, which are a company that does a, like, an acting kind of troupe that does, uh, what is it called? Uh, Rocky Horror. So they're a shadow acting troupe. Super fun. But yeah, so I felt like this as soon as I saw that awesomeness in Ionic. I was like, yes, I'm going to do all the things. It's going to be fantastic. So excited. All right, so Ionic does have a command line interface, which makes things a lot easier for you. Um, so you don't have to just, you know, figure out your whole life. You can literally just NPM things. Um, and it kind of looks like this. This is what you would see in, um, in Ionic. Um, it's pretty, it looks pretty familiar if you're familiar with Angular. Like you look at that and you're like, I can read that. That's not craziness, right? Um, and what that makes is this. And that boggles my absolute mind. Like just completely, pff, like I don't have to make 18 different apps to, or 18 different pieces of code to make an iOS app, an Android app, and a Windows application. That's just, for me, that makes my soul smile, and I, it really makes me really happy. So this is what that, all of that code, oop, all of that code makes this. So I think that's just incredible to me. And it also comes with theming and design already built in, which is super fantastic. So. Um, Ionic, something about me, I guess, is that I am not a designer. I don't, I can't make things pretty. 
It's not in my DNA. So as soon as I like realized that this was something that I could do with Ionic, I was very, very happy, very stoked about it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, designers, like what you're doing is fantastic. Like, how do you do that? That's not a real thing, right? Um, but yeah, super awesome. I love, love, love the design um, capabilities of Ionic. They also have templates, which is, it's kind of like you don't have to start from scratch. Um, this is also really incredible when you're learning to, when you're moving from one thing to another, um, because you're just like, hey, I don't want to make this thing. I don't want to start from scratch. I want to have some kind of base. Um, with Ionic, you can do that. You can grab a template, and it works just seeming seamlessly. And with Ionic, I, I think I learned a lot of patience. Um, it's, it's really hard to be patient when you're a React developer. You just kind of assume that things are going to happen. You're like, I put the component in there. It worked. OK, great. So with Ionic, it was, I'm going to build this thing and then stare at it, and then stare at it. <laughs> Does it work? Um, so it really was a really great exercise in patience for me, um, which is awesome sauce. Then from there, I actually was just like, I need to build this app pretty quickly. I, I can't take you know three, four, five, six months building this uh, this app that these people need. Um, it's really important to them, right? So I started using the Ionic GUI. I used the Ionic GUI. So Angular, um, <laughs> Angular is. Really, really great. Um, I, that's what, um, what Ionic is built off of. Uh, so you can, only, you can use Angular with Ionic um, and vice versa, kind of, I don't know, words um, are hard. And uh, yeah, you can't use React with Ionic, which is sad. Um, but yeah, Angular is very opinionated. So it's going to tell you how things need to be done. Um, it has directives, which was also really fun to uh, kind of learn and, and be around. And it's easy to read. So this is what a list looks like in Angular slash Ionic. So everyone can kind of see what's going on here, right? Yeah, it's pretty easy to read. If someone were to not be able to code um, and were just looking at an Ionic piece of code for the very first time, they'd be able to say, OK, this is a list of some kind, and there's like an item, and it is repeating, and then there's another item in there. Like they'd be able to kind of read it like that, right? Which is fantastic. Um, so there's it's readable. Um, there's the opinionated right there, and, uh, then and there. And your brain doesn't die because you can actually read it, right? So that's actually what this um, does here. It, that little bit of code makes that list. So Angular, the bad parts, it's opinionated. It has directives, and it's not React. So this is what I really hated about Angular. I just didn't like that it wasn't React. And when you look at me, you're like, Janelle, them's is fighting words. Like, this is, this is like a Google conference. I don't care. Um, so my, my whole question when I was like looking at everything Angular and Ionic was, why? Why does this thing exist? What is it for? Why? Um, so these are actual thoughts I have felt while building apps with Angular and Ionic. JSX, I miss you. Remember me. What is NG trying to do a thing that JS does out of a box? Like I was very confused about NG all the things. And what do you mean I can't create my own architecture? What if I want a giraffe as a button? Like, I, I want those things, right? Sometimes you want like awkwardness, and you can't necessarily do that with Ionic. That button is that button. You're going to have that button, period. Um, so I had a uh, love-hate relationship with this app, for sure. Um, mostly, mostly hate. So we have all of this here. And we're looking at it. And again, it's opinionated. It has, it's kind of easy to read. 
Um, it's a lot of code. It's, it's a lot of code. Ooh, hey. And it does this. Like, that's literally all it does. For all of this code, it just does this. So, you know, I was very skeptical about it. I just kept looking at it and I'm like, why do I have to do that? Why can I not just create a component that does this in React and call it a day? And so I ended up building this app and I trashed it and I built it again and then I also trashed it again. Um, and I think is after this, I really did have much more of of a learning experience. It was more of a journey than anything else. Um, and I was able to kind of find more about myself as a developer. Um, it made me learn what I wanted out of my own code. I was able to look at my code and decide definitively, like, this is how I like to code. I like to code in this order. I like to create my own architecture. I don't like for things to be dictated for me. And that was really incredible to, to know that about myself because if I hadn't played around with, with this, it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known that, right? Um, I also feel like I would have uh, probably done a lot better if I had learned Angular straight out of the box instead of Angular with Ionic, but that's kind of hindsight, right? Um, so yeah, for right now, I am still 115% on the light side. I am a Jedi. I will not ever go to the dark side. So thank you.